and ahead of the rest. If you are good, so I think we can. That that's a great place to show it. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing a video highlight part three. We started with our napkin game plan from the last stream. In the last stream, we had completed a first cut. And then we went offline, rendered it, and reviewed it, and came up with a list of things to tweak. The first thing we said we wanted to do was make circle highlights and edit our slide presences. And we did that. This is an example where we are looking at the team roll slide. And then we're going to shift slides. So that's a slide presence. And then you're going to see a yellow arc highlight part of it. And ahead of the rest. If you are operate primarily as an... In so there we see if you operate, and there at the top right you see that yellow arc. We got those yellow arcs by working with our compositional tool here. And for, for each slide, we popped a slide into here. And then we did an overlay layer and drew with a thick yellow pen like that. And to, op to in emphasize introvert, we had something we called an introvert arc. And to emphasize extrovert, and then we took each one of these layers and exported the layer into what we call the asset folder for the down here. So you can see here the assets that we started out with, we had the original MP4. We had the original MP3. Then we took slide sh shots. And now we have added these, these additional assets, which we just called arc for, for circle. And we had to create five of those. And we had to go back into the uh, video editor. and pop them into place on what we call the text overlay track. So that's what these are right here. And you can see the little yellow there. So we did that. Good job. So having successfully made circle highlights and put them in there, having successfully walked through uh, the slide presences, the next thing we did was edit a few sound spots. And the way we did that is we re remembered that we had two soundtracks this one which was the uh, called the phone sound and the other one called the room sound and then we selectively when we heard echoes like here success success success, success. where success says well, we'll keep that echo in. It's kind of cheesy, but it's interesting. But there were several places where we didn't like the echo one little bit. And what we did is we would cut. We'd figure out which soundtrack to cut, and we cut it. For example, right in here. B. There over a, time, we learned... There was an echo in there, and we got rid of it. And we related this to our original design factors diagram by remembering that we have two soundtracks coming in one soundtrack is what the videographer recorded the room camera person and the other soundtrack is what the speaker recorded and actually technically we're just pulling the speaker's file in directly 
like that. And so we have the option when we want to, to cut or to cut and then avoid any echoey effects. And the other, we didn't catch any bad listener feedback effects, so we didn't have to edit for that. Done. And just as a bonus, at the end, we've been exploring an idea whether we want to add a music underlayer in the background. And uh, we explored uh, the YouTube audio library, and we listened to a bunch of these. And we made a little list of some of them that could be used. Uh, spacey, reflective, kind of contemporary electronic biddly boop. And um, at the moment, our internal committee members are voting, nix, 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 you got enough going on. And they say, look over here, you've got, you've got voice, voice actor going on, the speaker, you got image going on, the slides, and you're going back and forth between the room and the image. There's plenty going on. Adding music would just be a low level steady distraction. So the game plan going forward is we will take this video to a quiet place, listen. If we identify there's a little bit of a rumble in the background. We think it's coming from the the phone sound, we'll look if we can add a, a low rumble filter to it, kind of take that little low rumble out, and then re-render the video, test render two, and see if it's good enough to post. So that's the game plan. Thank you for your time and attention, and as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>